the attack and the Jabalia refugee camp. What can you tell me happened? As a part of the friction that these ground forces are establishing, we've been able to, uh, as we say in intelligence, close a circle around a very senior and important Hamas battalion commander. We know that a significant number of Hamas operatives were with him in his tunnel complex. They were also killed. Uh, we understand that there were uh, secondary explosions and that the uh, subterranean infrastructure also exploded or imploded as a result of uh, some kind of secondary explosion and uh, that there are quite a lot of casualties in the area. Civilian, so civi civilian, sorry, sorry to interrupt, civilian casualties. At this stage, I, I can't confirm that. I, uh, I, can, I, I assess that is the case, but uh, I also know that there were many terrorists with him. Uh, this is a combat area which we asked to be evacuated almost two weeks ago when we announced that we would be fighting in the northern Gaza Strip. And the fact that there are still civilians there in close proximity to where a very important military commander of Hamas located himself indicates that there is no coincidence here. I'm slightly confused how you know that you managed to kill the Hamas commander and other terrorists, as you call them, and you don't know whether there are any civilians killed. How, how do you have confirmation on the ground of any of this? Uh, it is difficult to understand how many non-combatants were in the area, but the military objective, the strike here, was to strike a significant military commander that was achieved, uh, and we will, of course, continue to strike wherever significant military uh, goals can be achieved. We have asked the civilians to evacuate. We have given them ample time. We have said it in Arabic. We have told them where to evacuate to. Anybody who stays in the northern part of Gaza is actively endangering himself, and he should vacate. And I'd like to stress, these weren't people who could not move. This wasn't people in a hospital or uh, elderly people or people that couldn't move. These were people who made, either they made a decision or a decision was made for them by Hamas to keep them there. Yeah, but, but we both know that there have been strikes in the south in places where people have been urged to go and there have been deaths in the south. We also know that some people who did flee south went back to their homes in the north and, and there is a general sense there of helplessness that people don't know where to go that's safe. Most people we talk to say there is nowhere that's safe. There are safer places to be. It is a war zone and I understand that people uh, are uh, experiencing great discomfort and fear. I understand that. And it's not something that we are trying to achieve. We are fighting a, a military organization that has embedded itself within the civilian population and they're using the civilians as their human shields. They embed themselves under hospitals, schools, UN facilities, mosques, everything that is supposed to be protected and holy is used by Hamas. Looking at the site, it suggests that there was more than one strike. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, fighter jets usually don't uh, operate by themselves. Uh, there's usually more than one uh, plane active. And I don't know the exact uh, amount of ordnance, the weight, and how many missiles were delivered. But yes, looking at the footage, you can see that there's uh, significant damage done. But also, a lot of that is because what was underground. And the, the fact that the ground collapsed most likely is related to the fact that, that there were large cavities underground, tunnel complexes, and a command and control facility belonging to Hamas. Uh, that is probably why the ground collapsed. We've seen that in the past in Gaza. When we strike tunnel infrastructure, the ground collapses and everything above it collapses with it. That is unfortunate. Uh, that things collapse. But the most unfortunate thing is that they use that, they build these tunnels, knowing that they're jeopardizing civilians living above. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.